Hi, this is Angela from IamAngela.org, and I'm wanting to share just a quick refresher of the, the points that I take people through for EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique or Tapping. And this is if you've done something else with me, but you want to do some tapping on your own and you just can't remember all of the points, here it is, just a little quick refresher tutorial. And to use this, I'm just going to use our foundation phrase, which is I deeply and completely or profoundly love and accept myself. But I will switch it out for a few other words like respect or honor or cherish or nurture. And so know that you can um, change up those words too if there's a particular energy that you're looking for uh, you know, bringing into your being. And so here we are. I love EFT. And thank you for um, connecting with me on the web. So I do start us off with this point on the chest cavity that's sensitive. And you can just rub it gently. You can tap it. It's up to you. Generally, we cover this three times. We're just going to do it once for demonstration's sake. So as we are in this space, we say, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And we tap on the top of the head. And if tapping feels rough or abrasive to you, just hold the points and that is perfectly fine. I have found that to be just as effective as the actual tapping. Uh, there's no right number of taps either. So with that being said, we'll move down to the inner eyebrow because I do like to cross over the body, engaging both halves of the body during the process. So crossing over on the inner eyebrow and just saying, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. On the edge of the eyebrow, I deeply and profoundly love and cherish myself. Under the eye, I deeply and completely love and nourish myself. Under the nose, I deeply and completely love and enjoy myself. On the chin, I deeply and profoundly love and like myself. On the collarbone, I deeply and completely love and nurture myself. Under the arm, I deeply and completely love and respect myself. On the lower rib cage, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. And then the wrist, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. On the edge of the thumb, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. On the edge of the first finger, I deeply and completely love and nourish myself. On the edge of the second finger, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And on the back of the hand above the ring finger there, and I use two or three fingers, there's sometimes a sensitive spot in there. I deeply and completely love and respect myself. On the edge of the pinky, I deeply and completely love and adore myself. And on the karate chop point, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. Then we go to the other side. So take the opposite hand and tap on the top of the head. And so now I'm going to suggest that you notice you know, there's going to be different points that are more sensitive than others. You don't have to do anything but notice that. And then if you want to go back and spend more time on those points, you certainly can. The other thing that I'll say is that if there's any particular points that just speak to you and you only have a couple minutes to tap, go ahead and use those just those few points. You don't have to do everything. The most important thing is that you do the tapping process. Uh, that will reduce your physiological response to stress and anxiety, fear, depression, any of those things that you're experiencing. It just helps mitigate and bring your body back into homeostasis. So with that, I deeply and profoundly love and respect myself. On the inside of the eyebrow, 
I love my body being in this relaxed, calm space called homeostasis on the edge of the eyebrow. I love and accept all aspects of who I am. And on under the eye, I deeply and completely love and accept myself, even all those former versions from my past. Under the nose, I deeply and completely love and accept myself today in spite of the circumstances. On the chin, I deeply and completely love and accept all aspects of who I am. Oops, the collarbone. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Under the arm, I deeply and completely love and nourish myself. On that lower rib cage, I deeply and completely love and honor myself. And then the wrist, I deeply and profoundly love and encourage myself. On the edge of the thumb, I deeply and profoundly love and surprise myself. On the edge of the first finger, I deeply and completely love and adore all of who I am. On the middle finger, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. On the back of the hand above the ring finger, again, with two or three or four fingers, I deeply and profoundly love and accept myself. On the edge of the pinky, I deeply and completely love and accept all aspects of who I am. And on the karate chop point, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And that's it. So again, if you only have time for a couple of points, just do the couple of points. The hand points, why I bring those up in each of my demo videos are because those can be done underneath the table in an obscure way that you can be taking care of yourself. You can just pinch the finger, you know, move from finger to finger. You can hold this spot on the back of the hand, um, hold the points on your thumb, and you can do that without anybody noticing. And you can do it with the intention of bringing that physiological response down. If you're in a, in a meeting that's making you upset or you've got somebody, you know, a situation that you're not comfortable with, then, but you don't want to react. You want to be able to react from a more from you want to be able to act from a calmer space, then that's why you might be able to use those hand points. Um, another point that I have found really important for me has been on my lower thigh above the knee and just off to the side a little bit. That's been a really great space for me to be able to tap. And um, so I do that in the car. I do it. I've done it in a meeting where, you know, there was a lot of anger around the room and I just wanted to be able to stay calm. So we tap in what it is that we want to have present, whether it's strength, vitality, uh, calm, presence, um, peace of mind. You just tap that in and there you are. So let's tap some more together. Thank you for watching. It's Angela with IamAngela.org. Thank you.